Yesterday we found this really good deal on fruit trees at our local store. $16 each. We got two peaches, two apples, and one Asian pear. And something to look for, depends what you're trying to do, but when you're going to um, buy your trees, if you have a chance to pick them out, a lot of times you don't when they get sent to you bare root. What I look for is low branches. So there were trees where the branches started coming off all the way up here. We're all short people, at least Shane and I are. Julie's pretty tall, but I like to get trees that have low branches. That way, the, the fruit will be closer to the ground. You won't need to go so high to pick all your fruits. You will need a ladder probably eventually, but um, I just can see, I can see when I'm looking at these, how I'm going to prune them eventually. This guy looks like we'll have a central leader here, strong central leader with apples. That's what a lot of people go for. This is just a very, I could tell it was a very nice looking tree because you got your branches going out at a nice 45 degree angle in three different directions. That's exactly what I want when I'm looking at a tree. Um, the peaches, both of these are peaches, and I'm just really excited to have some of these uh, lower branches because peaches typically like the open center pruning. So I'm probably going to lop this right off, or maybe up here, so it has an open center um, as opposed to a central leader. There's all kinds of ways to prune fruit trees. It's really all about what you want. But uh, keep that in mind when you're picking them out, about how you're going to. How you're going to be pruning them and pruning is not hard it's it's a little intimidating at first i will do a couple videos on it eventually so, uh, thank you rowan for watering these babies they were a little thirsty and yeah they need some more water yeah because we're going to be planting these up at the property where we do not have a hose right now so we want to get them as watered as we can mm -hmm. while we do have a hose down here at Julie's house and then we're also we water them every day just to make sure yeah we'll probably water them, them again that, yeah we, must, we, we kind of soak it in yeah yes. and they need more so yes they maybe do maybe this amount tomorrow <laughs> now also we're moving a lot of this stuff at Julie's oh, house um from, from Julie's house to the property see she this is a gooseberry i've never grown them before but ideally we would have already moved this so you can see on this gooseberry it's already got leaves now you really want to move things before they leaf out in the win in the uh, spring or late winter this is one of the earliest leafing and budding plants so we're gonna move it still but we should have moved it already okay so this grapevine was intertwined you could see all these little pieces where it was attaching itself this thing was super long it grew from was growing from over here all the way up here so I, I untwined it and um, pulled it through all the way back now I also took pieces off took cuttings off and root it and I'm going to try to root them so I'll show you that in a moment but for right now I'm going to dig this out um, right here and the whole point of transplanting things in early spring is to do it before they start to leaf out that's the goal instead of putting its energy into growing leaves it'll give it time to put its energy into having the roots settle in so we're going to try to move them before it starts to do its springtime leaf production. So I will be digging this out a little um, much of the root as I can and, and it's okay I'm probably going to have to cut through some of the root but that's just part of the nature of moving stuff and it'll be perfectly fine when I retransplant it. The roots will grow back. Okay. Here is a blueberry bush and as you can see these little buds are already uh, almost ready to pop with new growth. Okay, so we got to get this thing out of here. Here's a look at the stuff we're going to be planting tomorrow. We have asparagus, 
which you can see the little baby shoots are starting to come out right there. That means time to get them in the ground. We've got a bunch of ba asparagus babies, the ones we repotted because they were getting too leggy. They're still pretty leggy, so I'm just going to get them in the ground. Uh, all kinds of asparagus. All this is probably about $3 worth of asparagus seed. And I probably, to get this many plants, would have had to spend close to $300 if I wanted to get this many asparagus crowns. So seeds will definitely save you a lot of money. This will not grow asparagus this year. Might not even grow next year, but saving money in the long run. In the long run, we'll have more asparagus than we know what to do with. We got two little grape plants Julie bought. We'll also put those in tomorrow. Okay, and then over here, we have what looks like just a pile of sticks. Sticks and wood chips, but no, it is not. This is from earlier. I was showing you these blueberry plants that I dug out. Got two blueberry plants there. Oh my gosh, in here I've got so much stuff. Here's the gooseberry from earlier I was talking about. We've got two or three rose bushes that I'll be dividing. We've got some lavender in there. We've got wisteria. This is a wisteria Julie wants. This down here is, there's apple, cherry trees, a whole bunch of stuff. Pretty much digging up everything from Julie's yard and we're bringing it up with us. Here's that grapevine. This is the first one I dug out. This right here is that grapevine from earlier. So, um, oh, and then we have an aronia berry here too. So lots of stuff. It's all marked with tape so we know what it is. Um, and then, we have some stuff over here, too, that we're planning on bringing. These are the five fruit trees over here that we just bought for a real good price. Got some daffodils I'll be transplanting. I've got a couple of Kate, other Katie's rose bushes that she wants us to transplant. These are the strawberries that I took out from the um, raised beds. And then I also have a bunch of grapes. Now, when I was taking that grape out of the fencing... I it was way too long to untie untangle it so what I did is I pruned it back so it was more easy to manage I cut the pruned pieces into little one to one and a half foot sticks now these little nodes here will either grow roots if they're under the dirt or they'll grow possibly more stems if they're above the dirt more branches so that's all you do is you just stick them in the dirt Keep it watered, and in a couple of weeks, you might have some, I mean, might maybe only half of them will grow. But if half of those grow into another grape plant, you're good to go. So, it didn't take me long to dig all this stuff up. I spent that whole pile over there. Probably took me about two hours, so. Hopefully, it'll be in a much better place when we get it up there. It'll be happy. It can set its roots down. Some of them were in very... Uh, watery soil so I think that they're going to benefit from being up on top of the mountain with a little better drainage and we will see right now we're digging holes for our fruit trees the holes for trees you want as big as you can get I've heard to dig square holes but we're not just, on our ground <laughs> it's very, we're just trying to get them in the ground before the sun goes down because we have a million to dig so I just like to dig enough to make sure the roots aren't going to be bunched in one little circular hole. Like this, these roots right here, they go off in different ways, so I'm kind of digging a long oval shaped hole, but um, might have to trim that one off. The reason we're planting right here, because that way is um, south, south <laughs> and where the sun's coming in this direction, so as this grows taller, it's not going to shade anything out. That way we can put our bushes here and then our shorter veggies in front of that and everything gets as much sun as possible. So this is a nice sour cherry from Julie's house and we're putting her in now. Okay, now on top of the tree we're putting in some rabbit manure a little bit and then we're going to bury the dirt and then we're putting chips on it to maintain the moisture around the roots so they can get... Um, 
situated. They can grow. And Rowan's bringing the chips over now. Did you bring the shovel with you? Oh, I got it. Yeah. Okay, so those are the chips that are going to go on it. We get our chips from our um, energy place. They cut trees down around power lines and stuff, and they're always looking for places to dump. So we're going to get probably 10 loads for our raised beds when we're at that point. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so we're trying to get them in so they get a good soaking. You already poured water in this, right? Oh no, we're out of water. Okay. It's okay, you can do it after the month. Okay, over here to where you see the chainsaw sitting, okay. is we put in three rose bushes, uh, rosemary, a wisteria, which is right here. The wisteria, we're going to put a pergola here. And then we're going to get blueberries and about 50 other trees in here but by the time we're done. Okay, we're just putting some wood chips around our last couple of trees that we did just to help keep the moisture in. This is a sour cherry. Here we got another sour cherry over there. They're the same kind, so we're gonna put a pollinator, different variety in the middle that will help pollinate both of them. Then, over here, we got a beautiful sunset in the background. Hold on, I'll go the other way so it's not in the way. We got our house over there. And here we got the um, purple grape. Over there we got two green grapes. Gonna do a little arbor from that cattle panel arbor from that tree over here and then over here too because this guy's already ready to be trellised. And that, that's the one I dug out yesterday from Julie's house. And then we've got our aronia berry right there. We're gonna do a big berry patch right in this general area. Gooseberry, aronia, Blueberry, raspberries eventually, and yeah, then we got a bunch of stuff over there. Roses and um, rosemary, and yeah, it was a very productive day. We got a lot done, and we're excited, so. First work day on the new home. Today. Yeah, first work day complete. First stuff taken care of, brought up from Julie's house. Beautiful view over the side of the mountain. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. This is so funny. <laughs>